Blackboard's February release 3900.84 is available as of today, February 1st, 2024. In this video, I will provide an overview of a few of the newly released items and updates, but I will also link the full release notes in the description. One of the newly released items is the form. You can now add a form to your course to collect uh, information from students, to survey students, to uh, solicit feedback, uh, and you can do so by clicking the purple plus sign and then create. Then choose form. You can rename your form and then click the purple plus sign to add content. Four question types are available, including the newly released Likert question. The Likert question is only available in forms. You have the ability to enter a question, choose a scale range of three, five, or seven, and customize your descriptors. By default, forms are not graded. Students will receive a green check mark when they submit a form. You can choose to grade a form by updating the settings, but it is worth noting that you will not have the ability to choose correct answers for multiple choice questions or true false questions like you can in a test or an assignment. These will have to be manually graded. Another update this month is the ability to view descriptors in a rubric while grading. To do this, open an assignment and go to submissions. Choose a student. And then in the upper right hand corner, click this pop out arrow. By default, this slider will likely be off and so you will see uh, essentially the same view that you saw prior to this month. But if you would like to see the descriptors, click the slider and you can now see more detail. You can grade the item and then submit. Another improvement this month is the ability to provide feedback for override grades and zero grades. And this also includes the ability to upload feedback when grading offline. To add feedback to an override or automatic zero, select an assignment and then go to submissions. To the right of the student, click the three dots and then click feedback. You can then type feedback in the text box. You can also leave uh, video or audio feedback or attach resources and then click save. Students will now be able to view this feedback from their gradebook. And lastly, you can now add feedback while grading offline. And to do so, go to the gradebook. Click the down arrow to download, and then choose the desired assignment. It's important to click the slider next to include feedback for the selected item. This should be green. If it is not green, you will not be able to leave feedback. I've had more success with CSV files, so I'm going to download a CSV file and select download. I'm going to name this something easy for me to find and save. I'm now going to adjust these columns so they're easier for me to read. And where it says needs grading, I can enter a score. And then under feedback to learners, I can uh, type whatever feedback I would like. And save. I can then go back to the gradebook, click the up arrow, and upload local file. You could also drag and drop. I'm going to select my file. It's going to upload, and then I'm going to click Upload. It's important to post the assignments or post the grades so students can see them. So I'm going to click it and select Post. If I click again and select Feedback, I can now see the feedback uh, that I left. And from the student view, students can go to their gradebooks, and now you can see the 
feedback from my uploaded grade appears with a purple text box and students can now actually view the feedback that's there. Uh, and the same with the override grade or the automatic zero. They can now view the feedback that's present there. So hopefully you find some of these um, updates or, or new items helpful. If you have questions and you're an employee at NIU, please email us at seidel at niu.edu. Thank you.